good morning students students let's continue with chapter 3 the midnight visitor page number 16 so up to now we have discussed that when osabel and fowler both the reese at osabel's room in a hotel as they opened the door and switched on the light they found that max was there the another secret agent and he pointed gun towards them now what happens further osabel moved to an armchair and sat down heavily osabel you know that he was very cunning also he was very intelligent also sharp minded so he moved to an armchair and sat down heavily i'm going to raise the devil with the management this time and you can bet on it he said grimly this is the second time in a month that somebody has got into my room through that nuisance of a balcony see here now osabel he just made few statements and he said I'm going to raise the devil with the management this time. And you can bet on it, he said grimly. Grimly means harshly. Very harshly, he said, that I'm going to raise this question to the management this time. This is the second time in a month that somebody has got into my room through this balcony. What is this going on? Second time a person entered my room through the balcony. Now he made... A story he made this statement that there is a balcony also right and once a person had already entered through this balcony to my room and this is second time when max entered means it was a cunning statement okay Fowler's eyes went to the single window of the room now Fowler's eyes went to the single window of the room it was an ordinary window against which now the night was pressing blackly blackly here means wickedly w i c k e d l y blackly means wickedly so as osabel made this statement that second time a person entered my room through this balcony, Fowler's eyes went to the single window of the room and outside it was growing dark. Balcony, Max said, with a rising inflection, no, a passkey. So when Osabel said, that second time it happened that a person entered my room through balcony. So now Max is giving answer to his question. Right. He is giving another statement for his statement and says balcony. Max said with a rising inflection, inflection, tone of voice or change in pitch. So very coldly he says no. I didn't enter through balcony. He says, no, a pass key. I am having a pass key. I did not know about the balcony. Max is saying, I did not know about the balcony. It might have saved me some trouble had I known. Max says, it might have saved me some trouble had I known. He says that if I were aware of that balcony, then... I could say it might have saved me some trouble. It is not my balcony, Osabel said with extreme irritation. He says, it is not my balcony. It belongs to the next apartment. He says, actually it is not my balcony. It belongs to the next apartment. He glanced explanatorily explanatory means explicative or descriptive explicative spelling is e x p l i 
C A T I V E explicative He glanced explanatorily at Fowler you see he said this room used to be part of large unit this room used to be part of a large unit and the next room through that door there used to be the living room it had the balcony which extends under my window now he says that this room used to be part of a large unit and the next room through that door there used to be the living living room it had the balcony which extends under my window means the next room is having the balcony and that balcony extends under my window means through that balcony any of the person can enter through the window of my room where in my room osa will tells him that you can get on to it from the empty room two doors down and somebody did last month the management promised to block it off but they haven't so osa will is telling that last month also a person entered through that balcony and i told the management and they promised me that they will block it but they haven't Max glanced at Fowler who was standing stiffly stiffly means rigidly stiffly means rigidly not far from Osable and waved the gun and waved the gun with a commanding gesture please sit down he said we have a wait of half an hour i think Max glanced at Fowler who was standing stiffly not far from osable and waved the gun with a commanding gesture please sit down now max is asking fowler also sit down we have a wait of half an hour i think 31 minutes osable said moodily moodily here means when you are depressed he said 31 minutes we are to wait the appointment was for 20, 1230 i wish i knew how you learn about the report max osabal is saying the appointment was for 1230 i wish i knew how you learn about the report the little spy smiled he smiled evilly and we wish we knew how your people got the report but no harm has been done i will get it back tonight what is that who is at the door now here osabal keeps max attention and gazed by expressing wonder at the leakage of information about the missiles report as he is raising question fowler jumped at the sudden knocking at the door as he heard who is that who is at the door Osabel just smiled that will be the police he said i thought that such an important paper as the one we are waiting for should have a little extra protection because the paper they were somewhere related to the missiles so here the cunning mind of osabel he shows the presence of his mind as there was the knock on the door fowler jumped and osabel just smiled and when there was an inquiry he told that will be the police because it is an important paper for which we are waiting and it requires extra protection i told them to check on me to make sure everything was all right osabal is telling i told them to check on me before you hand me over those papers you check on me and make sure that everything was all right max bit his lips nervously the knocking was repeated okay now what was the situation 
Max was in dilemma. He was in fear that police is outside. Definitely they will arrest me. Right. And the knocking was repeated. What will you do now, Max? Osabal asked. Now Osabal is asking, what will you do now? If I do not answer the door, they will enter anyway. So as Max is still he's standing there and pointed the gun towards Osabal and Fowler. So it's saying, Osabal is saying to Max, if I will not answer, they will definitely enter the room anyway. The door is unlocked and they will not hesitate to shoot. The door is unlocked and if they will enter, definitely they can shoot you. They will not hesitate in this. Max's face was black with anger as he backed swiftly towards the window. Now Max started moving towards the window. He thought that the balcony is there so he can move away from there with the help of balcony. He swung a leg over the sill, sent them away he won. Now as, as you can see in the picture, Max pointed the gun towards Osabel, one leg outside the window and he warned him. He warned him. I will wait on the balcony, send them away or I will shoot and take my chances. It's saying that I am waiting there. Where? On the balcony. Send them away. Whosoever is at the door, send them away or I will shoot and take my chances. Don't don't try to cheat me now. Okay? Do as I command you. The knocking at the door became louder and a voice was raised. Mr. Osable, Mr. Osable. So now, whosoever was knocking at the door, now they are announcing name of Mr. Osable. Keeping his body twisted, so that his gun still covered the fat man and his guest, the man at the window grasped the frame with his free hand to sport himself. Then he, swing, then he swung his other leg up and over the window sill. Now what happened? Keeping his body twisted so that Keeping his body twisted so that his gun still covered the fat man and his guest. The man at the window grasped the frame with his free hand to spot himself. Then he swung his other leg up and over the window sill. The door knob turned swiftly. Max pushed his post with his left hand to free himself from the sill and drop to the balcony. So Max, what he did? As the door knob turned, he free he made himself free as he hold this window sill now he dropped it he dropped to the balcony and then as he dropped he screamed once really and as once he dropped then he cried he shouted the door opened and a waiter stood there with a tray see Saying this, Max crosses over the windowsill and frees his hand to drop onto the balcony and then a loud and shrill scream is heard. Because we shall read further that there was no balcony. It was the presence of mind of Osabel, right? The door opens and a waiter stands there with a tray. A bottle and two glasses. He offered what? A bottle and two glasses. Here is the drink, drink you ordered for when you return, he said. Now the waiter said to Osabel, Sir, here is your drink. And set the tray on the table, deftly uncorked the bottle and left the room. He said, and set the tray on the table deftly. Deftly means very skillfully. Deftly means very skillfully. Uncocked the bottle. Uncocked means 
take out a cork from the bottle and left the room. White-faced Fowler stared after him, but he stammered the police. Now, Fowler was totally shocked. What happened actually? And as the waiter left the room, he turned towards whom? Towards Osabel and he stammered, the police? You were talking about the police, but that was the waiter. There were no police, Osabel sighed, only Henry, whom I was expecting. Osabel said, there were no police, right? And it was Henry, okay, whom I was expecting. But won't that man out on the balcony? Fowler began. And Fowler still he was thinking, but won't that man come inside again who is there at the balcony? No, said Osabel. He won't return. Osabel is saying, he won't return. You see, my young friend, there is no balcony. He says, my young friend, there is no balcony. Though Fowler was shocked and that's why he was stammering because he couldn't understand. Okay? And Osabel tells him very coolly that the story about the palace and a balcony outside this room or room's window was a creation of his swift thinking. It was this presence of mind that had saved him and Fowler both. He clarifies that Max actually jumped onto a non existing balcony from the sixth floor, meeting his end eventually. So he jumped from sixth floor, definitely he is dead now. There was no balcony, my friend. It was presence of my mind. I was expecting that Henry would come. And that's why I made the whole story. And in this way, Max is no more here now. So, dear students, the chapter is over. Okay. Again, I am telling you that you will note down the value points of the chapter. You will write down all the vocab. As well as you will write down the character sketches of Osabel, Max and Fowler. The question answers we shall discuss in next video and we shall start the next chapter tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good day.